in the last episode we set up botania we got the pure daisy and we started filling up our mana pool and we also got the phoenix feather wings for the swift running gill and in today's episode i'm hoping that we're going to be able to get the swift running gill up and going for us so with that being said there is going to be a few things that we are going to need to go ahead and make and that is going to be the runes from batania now some of these are really easy and some of them aren't really you know that easy However, the first thing that I want to start with today actually is you may have noticed that to get the water rune and also any of the other runes that are elemental, such as air, earth, and fire, they require Ignis crystals from Thawncraft, which means we also got to get into Thawncraft. And we all know that I hate Thawncraft. So because this pack, because of me, this pack has a very special quest in the Thomcraft tab. If you come over here and notice that unlock all research tab right here, you can go ahead and turn in 64 eternal matter for the quest of unlock all the research for the players. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves our very first crystals. And guess what? Getting crystals are fairly easy and fairly cheap. So all we need to go ahead and do is grab ourselves some stone, which is going to be over here in the drawer. And we're going to go ahead and make a little growing area, which I guess we can probably put over back here. Maybe just like put a nice little growing area with our growing area built. We can go ahead and grab ourselves what is called crystals. These guys right here, thankfully have EMC. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and grow these on the stone back behind our our smeltery so that way we can go ahead and get ourselves all of the crystals that we need for thumbcraft and just like that we should be able to take this and vein mine these like so and pick up all of the crystals that we need for thumbcraft right so then all we have to do now is basically come over here to our drawers up here and go boop 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 and boop make sure that we put them all inside of there and then jump to yeah create up all of them but also soon enough we won't have to jump we can just fly up there and it should be fine now we are going to need, I think, to go ahead and do this quest next, which is going to make the Thaumonomicon, which means we need to go ahead and click a, I believe a Silas Mundus on a bookshelf, I want to say. So we are going to need three different crystals. So I guess we can grab any three random crystals real quick and look at the Silas Mundus quest inside of the quest book here. Look at the Silas Mundus inside of JEI and it says, take three Vis crystals of any of different types and combine them with redstone dust by crafting them with a flint and a bowl so we need some flint and we also happen to need a bowl so that shouldn't be terrible to make so flint easy enough easy peasy lemon squeezy we should have a few extra bowls somewhere in here and how can i forget the most important part the redstone dust now we take all of this with a flint a redstone dust a bowl and three different vis crystal types like so to make our very first silas mundus and it doesn't look like it consumes the which i'm gonna call it it doesn't consume the flint which is super nice i actually really like that so go ahead and do that then go ahead and drop your creative vending upgrade on it just like that and then also you know go ahead and put all of your crystals away so that way they don't clog up your inventory i know hopefully we'll get flight soon Go ahead and get yourself some of the sales mondays we are going to need a bookshelf which books are probably the easiest thing to make i assume so bookshelves shouldn't be that hard to make so books paper leather all the typical you know minecrafty things we are gonna need a little bit of sugar cane and then i guess oak wood or spruce wood whichever one we choose to use doesn't really matter go ahead and make some paper we might as well just make a ton of paper while we're here and make one of those bookie poos wait did we oh we already had books okay never mind i'm just being really silly and we should have some spruce planks i don't know where they went but they're somewhere so i'll just go ahead and grab a new set of spruce planks like so come over here 
here and make our bookshelf and then to make our thumbnomicon all we have to go ahead and do is place it on the bookshelf right click it actually hold on no we have to wait for the night to roll around so we can go ahead and sleep because i believe to kick bombcraft off you do need to have those weird dreams or whatever that uh goes through the mods so we'll go ahead and fast forward time real quick now that it's nighttime we should be able to go ahead and sleep which will trigger the dreams and then we can go ahead and maybe right click the sales mundus on the bookcase like so to go ahead and get ourselves the thumbnomicon which is perfect and now we are going to probably have to go very far away for this now i do have a trick up my sleeve for this so do note if you're playing this pack alongside me if you're doing it in creative mode whatever you're doing find a spot in the desert or something far away from your base if you're going to go ahead and claim this thumbcraft research quest because it is going to spawn very bad things next to you or on you and it's going to ruin your base if it's definitely on grass it's going to ruin your base it's going to do a lot of stuff Oh my God, how did I miss this? There's a desert temple right here. Fair enough. I guess, you know, I'm blind as heck. Go ahead and, oh wait, we can't do it yet. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot. We need, um, yeah, infinity matter. Ow, that hurt. Stop it. Infinity matter and fading matter. Oh, I have to do all of this, don't I? Oh, I forgot. Hiya. Okay, back to the base we go, I guess. All right, so I guess we can probably start with maybe, I guess we can start by making all the matters real quick, which shouldn't be terrible. So if I come over here, here and we grab a bunch of drawers and we grab all the things that we already have which is the red matter and dark matter it's okay the rule set allows me to basically create anything as long as i've made it once it should be fine which is cool so what i'll go ahead and do mm, god these trees are in the way everything's in the way right now okay so go ahead and cut that down i guess for now and what i'll do is i'll do this like this for now and we'll move all this later once we kind of you know finally get settled inside of a base or whatever so red matter and dark matter boom 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 those are created ready to go and we are gonna need a few other things as well so let's go ahead and grab our red matter and then we can go ahead and upgrade this i believe to the next tier which should be i believe pink yes or magenta sorry so we'll go ahead and grab nine magenta like so magenta fuel i absolutely hate the fact that they've added the fuels to project expansion it drives me nuts i don't like it but you know what it's not about what i want right it's about what the mod dev wants and if the mod dev wants it whatever so be it right and then we'll go ahead and take this bad boy and we'll go ahead and upgrade it like so i think if we come over here with pink okay so yeah we're gonna find all the colors now so pink is going to be epic so pink boy go ahead and drop that in there go ahead and come over here craft that up just like so and we're probably gonna be good to go here soon so pink matter there we go i am gonna craft all the way up to the infinity matter and we will be right back and just like that we have the eternal matter fuel like that or eternal matter sorry look at that all of them in a row look at how sick that looks all right we need 64 of those bad boys go ahead and turn those in oh i almost made a mistake i almost did it at my base that would have been really bad wait let me quickly rewind time a little bit so that way i don't get um, <clears throat> absolutely shafted while i'm out here in the middle of the desert here go ahead and turn it off now i'm pretty sure this is pretty far in the desert so we should be okay go ahead and claim this oh my god what are you doing out here why are you following me go ahead and turn this quest in like so bam and hopefully this is going to be good to go i don't want anything to follow me back home hopefully nothing will i didn't get like any like what you might call it flux sickness or anything like that because that would be really bad if we you know obviously brought that home with us let's go ahead and make sure that our dog is a-okay come on you i don't know why you're following me but um you should be back at the base not with me running around but we can go ahead and bring you back like so and we should be good to go now to go ahead and do all the thumb crafty things that we need for said there we go turn you on okay 
so we should be good now so we should be able to make the vis crystals that we need we do need mana powder and mana steel which is gonna need luminescence and i believe mana steel is gonna go ahead and need steel ingots which i don't think we've made steel ingots yet so steel ingots are gonna be quite tricky to make unless if we do the smeltery route i don't know if that's actually a route that we can go ahead and take it is so crude steel and coal is definitely a thing so i, I think it's one coal to one crude steel and then that should be good to go go i think maybe that is now cooking let's take a nap before things get out of hand okay so we need the crude steel no we need the steel oh we get two steel ingots for that okay well fair enough i only need one so that's fair <laughs> go ahead and do that we made steel throw that up there and do that and that should be good to go now we have steel now which means we can go ahead and make mana steel we are almost close to being able to make the swift rending gale really quickly there's your mana steel i'm not too happy that we have to do it this way hold on are ladders really easy to make that is the question let's see dark steel ladders no normal ladders yes they are let's go ahead and make some do they have emc they do not why would they not have emc they're literally just made out of sticks like come on why did you remove the you know ability to emc them like that's so dumb they're made out of sticks like i don't know that that seems really weird to me but i mean i guess so we can go ahead and oh you can't even put ladders on drawers there it is. Okay. Okay, game. Well, there goes that plan of action. I guess what we could do is maybe something like this. And nope, that's not going to work. Okay. Well, that's awkward. That is really awkward. There we go. Go ahead and do that. And I guess what we could do is just connect these. We might as well, right? At this point, I mean, go ahead and do that. Then go ahead and put your mana steel down with the creative upgrade. You can go also ahead and put creative upgrades in all of these like so. And the luminescent is fine and then we will do that really fast so you come over here there we go drop that in there and now you have your mana powder which is good to go so go ahead and grab that grab a stack of that a stack of that call that a day and let's start by making the water rune so that's gonna be this one so that's gonna also require me to make a fishing rod which should be fairly simple it's two sticks some string and that's about it is it no wait it's three string right or three sticks not three string so three sticks and a string should make us the fishing rod and then we need the hold on we need the so bone meal easy enough and sugarcane obviously easy enough and i think that is all we need for that so if we come over here and drop one of those drop all of this stuff with your mana powder and mana steel and that should make us our very first rune we do have our wand here which is nice and then drop yourself the which i'm gonna call it this guy the living rock onto your pedestal there and then right click the ru runic altar with your wand of the forest go ahead and get yourself your very first water rune which is great now we're gonna want the earth rune which is gonna be a brown shimmering mushroom walk of coal and some stone now brown shimmering mushrooms is gonna be a little bit more tricky because i don't know if we have the materials to make it it does look like we do have the mushrooms having emc which is really cool so go ahead and give me a brown mushroom if you can that is gonna need some floral powder so we're gonna go ahead and take our pestle and mortar out really quickly and go ahead and grind up this brown flower into its petal form I gotta, I gotta turn it into its petal form first and then convert it like so and then you make your brown shimmering mushroom flower thingy and we're gonna need some coal and some stone which should be fairly simple again to make come over here grab that drop your that that your coal your fl not floor brown powder crap i dropped the wrong one drop your shining brown mushroom with your i didn't mean to do that either i think i'm missing one thing and i think it's the stone i don't have stone on me so that's fine you can go ahead and grab that from over here come over here again and drop that in like so and i'm definitely missing something else oh right 
you're missing the terror crystal right you're definitely gonna want the terror crystal don't forget your terror crystals ladies and gents you're definitely gonna want that for sure and just like that your earth rune is now done you can go ahead and throw that away now the rune of mana is going to be a bit of a tricky one because look at how complicated it is okay so we need essence of mana which needs all of these things which is fine it's gonna need mana in a bottle which is fine sales monuses which is fine but these percantio crystals are the tricky bit so percantio crystals is gonna need a crucible and to make a crucible we need to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron from our transmutation table i don't know if it's iron plates or iron itself it's iron plates so we need to go ahead and make a set of iron plate which should be easy enough as long as i go ahead and dump this in there and we have our plate cast poured out and we just yoink it into there and it should be fine for the most part i think and then we should be good to go let's go ahead and put down some more framed drawers if we can that would be really lovely if we could do that because we are running out of space and we don't have yeah we don't have enough room right now so there we go go ahead ah, i just poured out a steel plate oopsie that's my bad with said iron plate acquired go ahead and drop that in your drawer go ahead and grab your iron plate and convert them into a cauldron like so and then take your cauldron like so place it down somewhere where you're going to preferably doing your thumb crafty stuff i'm not really sure where that is right now so we'll just go ahead and temporarily temporarily place it right there and then go ahead and light a fire underneath it using your flint and steel or some other way of lighting fires with a nether rack underneath it so make sure you know that there's a nether rack under it so that way the fire stays lit i believe flint and steel is made out of steel in this pack yes it is indeed made out of steel which is fine because we can go ahead and grab one real fast and grab ourselves some some flint yeah see even with the creative mode this pack is still pretty uh grindy that is there you go go ahead and light the fire like so and then go ahead and i guess get some water in there which should be fine because all i have to do is grab some ice i'm gonna make a infinite source i think just over here and that should be good enough for now if i grab this and we just i don't know maybe like block this off somehow with a block or two like so and then do something like this break this down like so also make sure that it's good to go there we go this should be an infinite spring do that let that heat up now we are gonna have to find a really good source of precantio i honestly it's been a really long while since i've actually played this mod pack so i don't really remember what sort of things i would use for precantio and it does look like mana string is a good one but it's also not a solo one either so that's not ideal you want something that's more precantio solo instead of these ones that have a lot of other things attached to it so like for example like, like chiseled mana blocks could be really cool because it only has two of the which i'm gonna call it essences essentials but there's i think there's better ones that may come into play here i think your best bet is using like something like mana steel for example that actually seems like a really good plan and all you have to do is take this grab yourself some quartz slivers from your emc table because they have emc and go ahead and drop your mana steel into the cauldron like so and it should in theory it should melt oh you know what hold on i am smart you're supposed to sail this mundus at first and then do it so it's gonna avoid the water that's fine oh don't do that grab the water put it back in let it bubble over and it should convert that into what we need soon enough just like that go ahead and drop your slivers in like so and it should be good to go again make sure that we you know creative it now we do need to be very careful that we don't accidentally you know <clears throat> create a rift in the world that would not be ideal inside of your main base that's why you usually do thomcraft away from your main base essentially that way just in case of you know an accident does clearly happen you're not like screwed you didn't like screw yourself in your base or something so we need to go ahead and make this mana essence which is going to be very expensive it needs a mana emerald mana lapis mana quartz there's a lot of mana things that we need to go ahead and make so i'm just gonna go ahead and empty my inventory inventory into this chest hopefully we are good to go so we are going to need a 
emerald and a lot of this is very easy to make a emerald a lapis a diamond all the things i am hardcore debating whether if i want to actually like which i'm gonna call it like create of these because that way we actually have them kind of thing and then we're gonna go ahead and need mana pearl which again is a ender pearl which we already have we already have this one here sorry mana weave is gonna require mana string which means we need you know four mana string actually so if i go ahead and come over here to the mana pool real fast and drop all of these things so the mana string i somehow missed there we go mana string you're gonna go ahead and put your mana diamond your mana mana in the quartz your mana emerald all the things your ender pearl it's probably eyes of ender isn't it mm, right I may have forgotten that. There we go. Go ahead and grab me a Eye of Ender and that should be good to go. Go ahead and drop that in. I missed again. What is wrong with me missing? There we go. And I think that is pretty much everything that we need for all of the mana things. So go ahead and double check that. Oh, and mana red alloy. I told Holy didn't see that. That's fine. That is super easy to make. It is just eight redstone and a crude iron inside of a alloy kiln. With the red alloy being made, go ahead and drop that in your mana pool. And just like that, you have the mana red alloy ingot. And we should, in theory, be ready to go. Go ahead and create that. And I think this should make our mana essence. Okay. Is this going to make our mana essence? It is going to make our mana essence, which is beautiful. Okay. Now that that's making, we can go ahead and get rid of that. We are going to need a mana in a bottle, which is literally just dropping a glass bottle into a mana pool, which shouldn't be too terrible. Grab some three glass and get ready to make that. Bam, bam, boom. Go ahead and drop these guys in the mana pool like so. One, two, three. And I think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and make the rune of mana, which is pretty poggers, if you ask me, once we go ahead and get this creative up. Now that we have this creative, we should be able to drop this, this, and I believe five of these, like so. Yep, that's five. Perfect. We have that. We have Okay, we didn't put in this, nor did we put in the Salus Mundus. I don't know where I did with the Salus Mundus. I think I kind of threw it away. I honestly don't remember where I put it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab another one. That should be fine. And this should now craft, right? So it's got the Salus Mundus. It's got the mana powder. It's got the thing. It has the essence. It has the bottle of mana. It has the... Oh, it's freaking are you kidding me right now it's freaking four okay so it's four of these your mana salus mundus your mana powder there you go that's all set and ready to go now go ahead and drop your living rock on it and wait for this to craft mana ruin has now been crafted go ahead and drop two air crystals one white carpet one mana string where did that just go one mana string and i believe a guardian sack and then then you're going to want two of those. Once I get a guardian sack, we should be ready to go ahead and craft the rune of air like so. I think I'm missing. What am I missing? Uh, white carpet, guardian sack, two air crystals. Didn't I not just, there's your two air crystals, your water rune. I think I'm missing. So you got your guardian sack, you got your white carpet, and then you have the guardian sack. You have your man infused string. You have your phoenix feather. Oh, you don't have your phoenix feather. There you go. That should be good to go. Go ahead and drop that on there and go ahead and come over here and go ahead and put your thing. I have four wait there's how many runes there's three i have and then we're we're waiting on two more okay good and we're just about to finish crafting the air rune and then fire is gonna need fire charge magma block and red nether brick okay so magma block i believe is the one that has emc it does the ignis crystal we can go ahead and grab from up here like so and then it's gonna be one of these one of these your ignis crystal and then it's gonna want a fire charge which is gonna be coal gunpowder and blaze powder so coal gunpowder and blaze powder should make your fire charge which we need to go ahead and make blaze powder there's your blaze powder you know what as well we might as well do two sets because we get two sets of gunpowder and i think that's only fair there we go there's your six fire charges that you need and then you need 
your red nether brick which is gonna be nether brick plus nether warts plus nether brick okay which means i need to go ahead i believe and smelt up nether rack because i don't think i've had to make the nether brick yet which is fine because we can go ahead and do that early quickly the air rune has been crafted beautiful now we're just waiting to go ahead and craft up our fire rune which should be almost ready to go go ahead and create creative your nether bricks because those are really hard to craft or really annoying to craft i should say not hard but annoying to craft because they take a while to cook up in the smeltery okay beautiful red nether brick that is done deal go ahead and drop your red nether brick your mana powder mana steel ignis crystal your magma crystal and your gunpowder and that should be good to go perfect and then that is the last rune that we need we're gonna need a block of mana steel and it looks like three or four blocks of the which i'm gonna call it mana lapis that's not the mana lapis the mana lapis to go ahead and craft the terrestrial agglomeration plate which is going to be needed for getting the next tier of Batania up and running fire rune has been crafted just like that and then come over here put that in here wait i think i'm missing a few runes here let's see so it's three no it's five okay i just wanted to make sure that i wasn't going crazy here go ahead and grab one of each rune like so and we should be able to say hey let's go ahead and craft up the terrestrial agglomeration plate which is what we need to go ahead and continue now i don't remember if this multi-block in this pack is with the mana steel or if it's with the which i'm gonna call it the mana steel or the what is it called mana lapis sorry not mana steel the lapis i think I think it's with the lapis i want to say it's with the lapis but i don't remember because it's been a very very uh long time since i've last played this mod pack which is fine because we can figure it out really quickly if it's not go ahead and put your living rock down like so go ahead and put this down like so and then go ahead and get me a two sparks i believe one two and then we need to figure out exactly how to craft terra steel so one and two and if we look over here at terra steel like so terra steel is going to be a mana diamond mana pearl and mana steel with a half a pool of mana which guess what what we actually have half a pool of mana pool which is pretty good so you and you and you should get me the terra steel bit that we need so do that that and that and it is working so that means it is indeed correct and just like that we have our very first bit of terra steel would you look at that and guess what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and shove it in here perfect now we're gonna go ahead and break this down into terra steel nuggets so that way we can go ahead and craft up the elven gateway core which is what we need to go ahead and open for us to get the things that we need so we are going to need some living wood i believe that is going to be right here no that is treated wood where is the living wood logs that is over here okay perfect so let's go ahead and get the elven gateway core which should be super simple now we are going to go ahead and need the nichura pylons that's right the nichura pylons to go ahead and is that not what they're called i know they're called something pylon there we go nature and then we're gonna go ahead and need a mana pylon which is gonna need gold luckily we can pull <clears throat> i don't know infinite gold there we go go ahead and get me some mana diamonds bam bam boom easy peasy lemon squeezy come over here and grab the nature of pylons really quickly grab me two of those and then i want to say give me what is the other thing that we need for this right nether so nuggets the eyes of ender for this beautiful and that should be fairly simple one two and we are gonna need another two mana pools which should be fairly simple to make bam bam we are gonna need a bit of glimmering wood which shouldn't be a problem so if we grab some glowstone i believe it's three pieces of glimmering wood so glimmering wood where is the glimmering wood there it is go ahead and get me 
a few of those don't need too many and then we can go ahead and place down our two mana pools i guess we'll, what we'll do is we'll put it like here and here and what we'll do is build the elven gateway core like so here and here do that that and that 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 and then do something like put the that there that there that there and there with that 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 and that and then that should be the correct which i'm gonna call it thing go ahead and do that and that i'm gonna basically yoink this mana spreader like so and i'm going to basically correct it that's not the mana spreader oops that is just the living wood we'll go ahead and correct it so it starts filling the pool here like so so you do that and you do that and i guess we do have extra mana spreaders so we can go ahead and relink this to this go ahead and grab yourself some more of these which i'm gonna call it these things the black lotuses go ahead and basically fill this mana pool up like so then fill this one up like so and then fill this one up like so and it should be fairly simple go ahead and right click this and you should get a working elven gateway portal go ahead and look at what the thing is called in jei so we're gonna go ahead and i think i want to take a prediction and say to make elementium we need to make it with elven we need to make it with redstone mana ingots no it's man of steel okay i was not expecting that because basically in the expert mode it used to be that actually if you played this pack back in the day with me it used to be the which i'm gonna call it thingy over here the the red alloy mana red alloy for the elementium which was super annoying but yes now that we have elementium we should hopefully be able to finish our swift rending gale which is pretty poggers bam bam boom there is our swift rending gale which is amazing all right which this is gonna allow us to fly now i'm also gonna go ahead and put that in the drawer like so go ahead and put this in my bobble slot beautiful we now have creative mode flight which feels just so incredibly good like just being able to fly around this is nice i can get used to this really quickly actually just look at that okay look at our inventory our inventory is absolutely destroyed holy hell our inventory is destroyed okay so that is good we do need dragonstone actually which is literally simple enough throwing a mana diamond into the elven gateway core i actually might consider restarting and going and restarting starting on an older version of the pack to make it oh no uh make it even harder am i crazy or where is that going there it is i didn't pick up the, the first one i guess bam oh i did not hold on i didn't create that oops go ahead and put the dragon stone in go ahead and drop that in there beautiful would you look at that and now we can actually start crafting these down and making all of these to make the refined emc links and all of that fun stuff but i'm Fortunately, guys, we're out of time for today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell, become part of the Hunter's Tribe. As always, guys, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna leave you till next time.